Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Comic Freak for Life with a YCS Toronto video. So, windups won, dude. Windups won. They won, dude. Again. So, windups won nationals. Looping your hand. They got hit to one carriers and ninety. Then they win a YCS right afterwards, which means the ban list, we can say, did nothing, but that would not be totally true. Anyway, they got hit, and then they had to switch their, like, win condition into being more assault and OTK and search my deck with factory until I win, kind of ish so yeah that's what happened they pretty much use their effects to search for more of them and then if your opponent does anything uh, say dark hole or tarantula or something oh I just added back all the cards I just used I'm just gonna do it all again next turn and the same thing do it again until your opponent has no resources and you win so yeah lineups won and I have the top 16 and top 4 decks um, so, yeah, this is like a kind of YCS recap. Um, five windups in top 16. This is top 16, so five windups, two Geargas, one Chain Burn, or Burn, four Element of Heroes. So, people are not totally realizing that four Element of Heroes, one less than how many windup decks at the top, but they lost. To other decks, so they're still good. So, one psychic grand soil, which made it up to the very the top two, the final game. So, psychic grand soil that's kind of getting like hopped on by the the whatever you want to call it, net decking. Um, grand soil's up, but I kind of think it went kind of down again. Uh, shock master's up. I'm gonna do a video on that anyway. So, one psychic grand soil, one dark worlds and two Dino Rabbit made it into the top 16. Fast forward, top four. We have two windups left, one Psychic Grand Soil, and one Gear Guy. And then top two, it was windups versus the Psychic Grand Soil. So, and windups won. Windups ended up beating the Psychic deck, and he ended up winning the whole thing, and now people are going to play windups again, and you're going to see a lot of windups, and Maxi is now relevant, so, yeah. I'm going to be making a video on all that stuff, but right now, that's what happened, that's what topped, that's what won. Now, we know kind of what's good and what's not, and now Return of the Duelist is not a crap set anymore. So yeah, that's it. Um, that's the result of YCS Toronto. And I'll be making an analysis, like market watch of all this stuff. So yeah, that's it YouTube. This is Comic Freak for Life. Keeping it real, signing out.